Alright, welcome back. We got Jake back. I'm back. Again. Thanks for having me, like always. You are more than welcome. I just showed up today. That's actually what happened. He didn't I just even tell me. He's sort like, of just, hey, I'm on my way. I'm like, cool. I'm on my way, and he's like, oh, I thought it was tomorrow. And I'm like, well, no, it's happening now. And then I got here, and then there were some people buying some stuff, and I interrupted everybody, and then we set up, and now we're ready to go. Yeah. And today, today I think it's going to be a good show. I have, um, I figured a good thing, that, a topic we could talk about is all the movies coming out this year. There's a lot. Um, there's a lot. And there's a lot of good ones, I think. And there's a few that I think people think are going to be good and they're going to yeah. be duds. And I figured we'd go through those and um, give our opinions and see. All right. So, um, first off, let me just ask you. I know we have the list here and we're going to go through sure. some. What's the one you're most excited about for off the top of your dome? Well, it's between two. Okay. I would say Guardians of the Galaxy. Volume two. Volume two. Great. I, I bet that soundtrack's going to be killer, too. Oh, my gosh, yes. All right, so. Uh, that one, and then Spider-Man Homecoming. Yeah, I'm very excited for Spider-Man Homecoming. Yeah. I mean, we might as well dwell into this one. Um, I was very excited when they announced him for Civil War. Yeah. Um, Tony Stark's in charge of the suit, which hopefully, yeah. hopefully, that'll shed light eventually to the um, Iron Spider suit, which would be really cool. But hell, like, they... Marvel and the Avengers and all the, that that whole spectrum that they're mm -hmm. the whole universe they've made yeah. it, it has done it so well to where they even got Spider Man's eyes moving like they do in the in the comic yeah um, but it's it's still with the technology yeah. to make it um, I think they did a really good um, signing with the kid that's going to be on it yeah in what's the film his name? Tom, no what's his name uh, can't remember his name I don't know his name in real life his Randall name is or something Ron it, uh, da, 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 da. Tom Holland. Tom, Tom Holland. Holland. There Tom we go. Holland. Sorry. Oh, great video. Um, no, he. Uh, I think he's gonna do a job. I. I'm excited for Marissa Tomei as Aunt May, not because I think she'll be a great Aunt May, but she's hot. She's kind and, of a uh, milf. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, kind of is, is like a harsh compliment said there. That in some war, she is it? so. Yeah. Even. Yeah. Tony to Stark was totally in on her. Um, that. Yeah. That, that's. That's really high on my list. I think that's number three for me. The three. Okay. Um. Yeah. Guardians of the Galaxy two is yeah. number four on my list of the top Ooh. five. Okay. I think that's gonna be a really good. One. I'm very excited for um, Thor Ragnarok. Planet Hulk. Is Essentially, yeah. and the you know why that's happening that way, right? Uh, Universal still has the rights to Hulk. Yeah. And so, since Marvel doesn't, they he's on lease to them. And so they can never do a Planet Hulk film until they get the rights back. So, yeah. to, the way Marvel is smart to get around this, they're going to do the Ragnarok, which will bring Hulk back into the series, Planet yeah. Hulk. Um, the Ragnarok, dark, I was a little disappointed with the last one, the, the Dark Elves. Um, the, the Dark World with the Dark Elves, dark, right? Because that was my favorite it comic out of those. Yeah. Um, but I, you know, it it's not that they didn't do the comic justice. It was just like bleh of a film that was sort of there. Um, so I hope in their revamp it with this one and it gets uh, you know, going yeah. a little more, uh, ties in more of the universe story because. Guardians of the Galaxy already give us that part of the universe. We know they're eventually going to meet up with everybody. Yeah. But um, Thor year. on his planet is going to dwell into more being outside of Earth. Yeah. Which is, I think, always important. Yeah, he went home. What was it? The last Avengers movie. Yeah, he went yeah, back yeah, to he, figure he was, out what was going on down exactly. there. Exactly. Um, so, so top duds that you think are coming out. Duds? Oh, so, man. all right, let's just say this. So, so the movie's coming out this year. We've got Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, Star Wars The Last Jedi in December. <laughs> Number one on my list. I think it's, gonna, it's on a lot of people's. Beauty and the Beast, Spider-Man Homecoming, Thor Ragnarok, Logan, Justice League, Kong so Skull many. Island, P Pirates of the Caribbean, the mm. newest one. Alien Covenant, Pro Prometheus yeah, 2, right. Prometheus Wonder two. Woman, uh, John Wick 2. Oh, John Wick 1 was oh great. My God, I love Wasn't that it? Movie. I, I, oh my God. Like, you know it what? was so good. So me and my <laughs> wife, we do um, movie nights. Yeah. Every week, we both pick a movie. Uh, we yeah. draw out of a jar of a genre. We have six months worth of genres. So that's a lot of movies to pick from. And so somebody draws out a jar Saturday. Whoever does, we watch that movie Sunday. Yeah. And then the other person gets to pick a movie Friday. So we both get to pick a movie through the week. And she picked John Wick during action. And yeah. I was like, oh, I don't know, Keanu Reeves, right? I, right. I didn't really right. know much about it. Then I found out it was about a guy mad because somebody <laughs> kills his dog. Spoiler. And, yeah. And then he goes out and he just reeks oh. mayhem on all these people which he should if somebody oh, killed my, my dog God, it was taken, or either one of them it was taken but with Keanu Reeves yeah. um, and it was amazing so I'm excited for that part well two. I wouldn't when I saw it I was going to see uh, F uh, Furry Fury Fury okay. yeah. Furry we were, we're, I was on my way to go see this movie I was stoked I want to see it it looks super rad mm -hmm. we get up there with some friends about to pay for it and then the guy's like oh let's see John Wick and I'm like John Wicky from Transformers and I'm like 
I never even heard of this movie before. And we're, we're like, no, I was super pissed. <laughs> and we start watching that movie. And if you haven't seen the movie, the first 20 minutes of this movie is just like nothing's happening but right. like sadness. Like <laughs> all this stuff. I'm like, what the hell is this? And then when it turned for me is when he was slamming that sledgehammer into the ground and they're doing that narration yep. saying how he's the one you send to kill the boogeyman. Yeah. And that guy's like, oh. And I'm like, oh my God. Yes. <laughs> This is great. Like, that, that amazing was, movie. The funny thing is, that was the same thing for me. I watched it. I saw the dog died. I was like, oh, what the hell no. They didn't kill the yeah. dog. And then that, and then it, oh, so great. Anyways. So good. Um, so we got that. War of the Planet of the Apes, which I think can, uh, is going to be a good film. Yeah. Uh, the Mummy. I, so. I don't yeah. care. Transformers. I mean, I mean, what is it? Okay. Transformers 20 or 5? 32. Sorry, whatever. Something like yeah. that. The Batman Lego movie. Probably going to be funny. Ghost and Shell. I don't I know. I don't know much about okay, it. Okay, I do. And I loved the anime. Okay, yeah. and all there was a lot of spin-off movies and stuff. Um, a lot of people were mad they hired a white girl, uh, Scarlett Johansson. I love her. It's yes, me too. It's Scarlett Johansson. So like shut that. up, world. You get her in almost nude skin almost tight. Nude. Well, it's it's nude color right. and it's skin tight, yeah. and she just runs around and kills people in it. What more do you want? So it's like Black Widow, but with less clothes. Yeah, and not the axe or whatever. Ax Did she sometimes has an accent. Or? She started out with. Yeah, that, that's what then, I mean. But then it was now it's gone. Part, now it's yeah. part of her cover, so she's. It's just like plays, you ever yeah. see Val Kilmer in the Ghost in the Darkness. No. It's a terrible film. So, halfway through the movie, you could tell the director just gave up on Val Kilmer as an actor because half the movie he has an Ireland accent. Yeah. Oh, no. so Val, I can't do it. But it sucks. And then he just goes back to just talking like an American because the director's like, you suck. Just, just I don't care. You just suck. finish the movie. Let's be done. Let's kill some lions and we're done. That's all. Right. Spoiler alert. Spoiler. Anyways, um, Baywatch. <laughs> I, I knew know. you were so excited for this, aren't you? Look at your face right now. I love rock. I'll tell you so, that. Oh, so do I. So, like, I but I don't see it. need. No. <laughs> you wait. Hold on. Oh, wait. Is this one of those moments? I gonna... may not go see it in theater. Okay. I'll thank God. It. Maybe the three dollars. Hold on. Theater. I don't know what's worse. You go into the theater in public, watch this, or you yeah. being alone at home watching this. I'll probably pick it up. Like, or alone go... at home. No. Uh... This is not an alone and old movie to I'm watch. I might take Tiffany, see it, and, and you know. I'm not even gonna take Kate. Like that, the, the best part is those two movies, Fifty Shades Darker and Baywatch, are right next to each other. Don't care. Oh, I don't care. Don't care about, care that about one. either one. Zac Efron, one of the sexiest men alive, but he's too ripped for his own good. And The Rock, I love The Rock. I don't need to see Baywatch. The mo TV show was bad enough. I thought it was gonna be an HBO show originally. I I thought it was gonna be a TV show too. Yeah, and then when I, I saw, saw the promos, movie, and then like, oh. I was like, oh, it's a movie. Yeah. Uh, the Dark Tower series. Finally. I haven't heard this one. Okay, do you know Stephen King? Yeah, of course. Okay, do you know the Dark Tower series? No. Oh, you don't know Stephen King, then. <laughs> I guess so I don't. It's I don't Cowboys, time travel, Sounds cool. super future, just P Idris Elba's in it. Matt McConaughey's in it. He's the Dark Man. Yeah. Um, and all right, all right. You, all right, all right. All right, all right. You know what's great about high school girls? Yeah, all good, man. I keep getting older. They say the same age. I think I did okay there. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. Anyways, um, read. I'll bring you some literature in, or if you get a chance, read the Dark Tower series. It is amazing. Okay. Um, finally, Stephen King's uh, books might get a good treatment. So there's a there's a there's a positive one coming out. Uh, Triple X Return of Xander Cage. Don't yeah. care. That, I can just not even read don't that. Blade, Blade Runner 2049. Eh, yeah, I don't know. It might be good. Yeah. Kingsman Code. Don't care. Never Valerian. Heard. Don't care. Power Rangers. It's going to be garbage <laughs> sauce. I, that I, movie's going to well, suck. So I just heard today, you were here too. Apparently yes. Jason David Frank's going to be in it. The White Ranger. Don't. Spoiler alert. <laughs> He's don't. gonna be in it. Please don't. Oh, a cameo, I get it. I understand it. Do not. I be like a your mean idea. Character. We were, so we were out there. We were talking to some customers, and we heard that he was gonna be in it. And Chris goes, "Oh, well, you know, I bet he's gonna be like a cameo teacher." Or yeah, something. you know, just make. And his the guy's appearance. like, "No, man, it's gonna be the White Ranger." Oh my god! And I then Chris, god Chris went not. into insta depression, which is where you um, melt like the witch on the Wizard of Oz, yeah. and your pool of goop cries out to me. Just and leave it alone, like, man. Really? If you're watching, Jason, just leave it alone. Yeah. Just, um, just step aside. Let someone else do it. Despicable Me 3. Yeah. King Arthur, which yeah. I think this one's by Guy Ritchie as well, but I don't care. Yeah. Um, I'm not even going to read half the rest of these because they don't matter. The Fate, Fate of the Furious. I stopped watching the Fast and the Furious after they announced Tokyo Drift. I never saw it. I heard some of the other ones after were decent, but have you watched any of them? 
Tiffany loves Fast and Furious. Now, my, is it because wife. of Vin Diesel? Paul Walker. Okay, well, yeah. Uh, right. So I've seen them all. Okay. Um, and do you see the trailer for this one? Yeah. It looks so bad. It does. The Rock's in it, and that was one reason. Also, the transporters in it. It's like they took half of the Expendables, <laughs> like and they put them into this. Into a franchise. Yeah. It, it's not even, the Fast and Furious isn't even about racing anymore. No. It's just about... It's just like about heist, and they use crazy cars to do the heist, and with ridiculous. Well, in every film, they don't ways. know what kind of cars they want. Like the first film, it's all like low it, lowered Hondas, rice rockets, and then the next one, they went, let's do muscle cars, and then they went, let's go to Tokyo, and then they, I don't, I don't know what happened. Now they're driving Hummers. Like how is that? It's just like it's like Mission Impossible meets uh, Ocean's Eleven, mainly Ocean's Eleven, like straight up, right? But with cars. Okay. You know, and, oh, Gone and, in sixty seconds mixed in there. Yeah, a yeah. little bit, right? Okay. But like the main concept of, the, of this movie, Vin Diesel's like doesn't remember. He turns anything. on everybody. And That's not a spoiler. Guy. Go watch the trailer oh, and just point your life. That's weird. Um, back on the list, Jumanji's getting remade with The Rock and Kevin Hart. I don't know how I feel about that. Jack Black's in it too. That's always fun. I think fun. he's on a downward spiral though. Yeah, World War Z two is coming out, and the reason I, I want to see the first one. It's okay. on my short list to watch. I watched it the other night. That was our movie nights this week, and I had to pick based off a book, and it's a, a great book uh, yeah. too. Um, but it's it's a good film. It's not a great film. It's there, there's like you know it's it moves very fast. They yeah. want to get stuff going. Um, and it ends very open, hence why the sequel is coming out. Obviously. So you're gonna pretty much, you know, people don't die in it. It's not a spoiler alert to you because there's a sequel coming out with Obviously. all the same people. So, um, but you, you watch it if you like. Oh, it is. It's on my list. Yeah, yeah. Check it, it out. It, it was decent. Don't watch it um, edited on TV like I have. It's way different than when you actually. I mean, some movies it matters. Some movies it doesn't. Yeah. This movie it matters. And it's not based on story and stuff. It's just the way they cut the scenes, it makes it seem like it's missing stuff, even though it's not because the way they fade it out. It's like yeah. FX, the channel, wanted to make it beautiful or something. Right. Um, and then after that, there's really not much more. We're boycotting that dog movie. You're oh, all, you're the dog's purpose? That. There's so much stuff about that. I don't I don't really want to get into some PETA issues right I'm now. But I, I heard about <laughs> it. And then I've heard every side that I need to hear because, you know, we have two dogs. I have a German yeah. Shepherd especially. Roan, love him. Yeah. And I also have a Golden Retriever. And... We love our dogs. We would never do that. But, yeah. you know, it's Hollywood. Right. Um, so, you were saying, Spider-Man was one of your number yeah. ones. What was your other number one? It was it was Guardians. But, I mean, that's what... Star Wars is obvious, the obvious one. Yeah, I think that so gets not, its I own put, category. It, right. right? Just, like, we know Star Wars. we're going to go see it, like, three times right. at the theaters. So, like, my other... Like, okay, below that one, like, my main ones. Guardians of the Galaxy, okay. I'm pretty stoked about. I love the first one. And then Spider-Man. So, when you saw Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 first sneak freak trailer yeah. what do you think i was reserved right. and also like skeptical and and kind of scared mm -hmm. because they i think we're going over the top with the comedy um i think that's the whole point though they're a ragtag bunch of misfits right. and but you they, know it, they, i think they're trying to try and play off of what the, the success of the first one is and just go with like but hopefully it don't go too far but you're afraid of the comedy in a lot of movies like we were going to bring up kong skull island I'm excited for. Um, yeah. That's in my it like good. after top five. It looks good. There's a few things I have a problem with, and yours was you're, you're afraid of the comedy. And why are you afraid of that? I know John C. Riley's hilarious, and there's some funny scenes. But yeah, I well, think I'm not saying. I think they're just trying to change it, which is I'm fine with. I'm open to change and doing yeah. something different because why see the same thing over and over and yeah, over again? Yeah, there's no again. point. Um, but it's supposed to be somewhat serious, and if I, if they might put too much comedy into it. it might yeah, I think because especially because they're gonna link up Godzilla, and then if you watch Godzilla yeah. the remake. There's no, there's no, there's a few jokes, but it's it's a pretty serious yeah, movie. Straight up, yeah. Um, the th problem I have is how big Kong is, and I, I understand why. They made this is the biggest Kong they've ever made. Yes. Um, and the reason was is since they are linking up legendary pictures to have him fight Godzilla, it would have been really stupid because Godzilla they made so him. massive yeah. that it would have been like a little like Ant Man fighting on the Hulk. That's right. essentially what pretty you would much. have had. Um, um, they're and gonna so, add, they're gonna add in Pacific Rim too. I heard. Yeah, I mean that's the whole kaiju theory. I right. mean that's um, there's there's gonna be a lot more monsters coming in. Like all the I love one of my favorite things to do is there's a lot of Easter egg videos on YouTube, but also like looking for them myself. Like some movies I go multiple times to the theaters. Like Avatar I went three times, and the reason was I saw it in IMAX. I saw it in 3D. I hate 3D movies. I don't see the point of living it. Um, but then and I saw it regular, and I like to do that to find little things, see what I missed, to also see the beauty and 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 the different scale. Like mm -hmm. I didn't notice. On, I'm going back to Avatar, but the guy 
in the Blu-ray version. I didn't notice how many freckles he had until <laughs> I saw it that way, but I didn't notice that in 3D because yeah. I was focused on other things. You lose a little bit of detail in 3D. Right. Now, with Kong, he's so big that I think it might be a problem. And I think it's going to be drawn out. I think they're going to try to make it a lot longer than it is. And the main thing I have a problem with, and if, if this is a spoiler to you, then you have not seen the trailer, so go watch it, is the lizard people. Yeah. That he's that they're fighting, which they call the Skullwalkers as a joke or something that John C. Riley says. But that worries me because anytime you bring small humanoid creatures against a giant creature and then the people are fighting everything, it becomes a mess. Sort of like yeah. when you put too many villains in a Spider Man film. Spider Man 3. Okay, okay, good. I'm glad you brought that one up. Okay. Not this but Amazing Spider Man. No, no, no. And okay. that, that, um, I liked them and I think I wanted a few. Oh, I liked the first one. The second one wasn't bad. They they pulled Spider Man three though and threw in too many. That's my only. Yeah, point. and I, I mean, um, Spider Man when it came out with Tobey Maguire was great. Spider Man two was one of the best comic book films of all time. I will put that on record right now. That was it had the mix of humor. It had everything. Yeah, oh yeah. Spider Man three was a mess. <clears throat> also, Venom's my favorite character of all time in any comic book. Yeah, they made him and Eric it is Foreman. It, what one? He is not big enough. But two, <laughs> um, he needs to be a big bulky guy. But also, yeah. Mm, it is so hard to get that right because it would take so much CGI or so much animatronics that either way it's never going to be believable. So it's really hard yeah. to pull them off. Um, but they also had too many people. Now, yeah. going back to this list, when we're going into a movie, speaking of too many things, how do you feel about Justice League? The DC, I think they're just struggling. Oh, but, yeah. Like, they're just, they didn't bother doing like their own movies and like sequels and then do the but whole thing. But they try up. to do it backwards. They just said that. Yeah, they're just trying to like catch up. Okay. And I think they're just throwing in so much stuff that it's just now I don't know. But I will say this. Aquaman sucks. <laughs> well everybody he's like yeah right? name more Aquaman there yeah. But I think the new guy that they got going for him is gonna pull that off very well. Yeah, and that's if um, especially because the new want to make me a, a, a Aquaman. Fan. There's some things leaning towards that the the Aquaman single movie is gonna have Black Manta in it, which is a great villain. Yeah. Check him out. You should go look that yeah, stuff up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, sure. But uh, Batman vs Superman, a lot of people hated, and I actually liked it. I thought it wasn't as bad as everyone thought. I thought it was too long, and there was too many dream sequences. And it's not that I have a problem with dream sequences, but. When you add them so much and then you find out later that it is or you don't know if it is, like you don't know if the Flash team was real or not at this point. You know the bat one in the cemetery is where he's bleeding out of his mouth. <clears throat> but it had a, a, a very serious tone and I don't have a problem with the, the films having a serious tone. Batman's supposed to be pretty serious actually yeah. like the comics. Oh yeah. Um, the whole Martha thing I thought was dumb. Yeah, the, yeah when he yells the out Jolly Rancher thing. Yeah, there's, yeah. A lot of, there's a lot of dumb things in the film and there's a lot of things that were over the top and... And that, the problem with that was, is I think it ruined Suicide Squad. I haven't and, seen it. Don't spoil it. Okay, well, the, thing, the problem the with this was, though, was that Suicide Squad originally was filmed, and then when DC messed, they had a mess up with Batman vs. Superman, as we say, they went back and they filmed some more scenes to add humor. Yep. And I think... Suicide Squad, I, I might be okay with humor in that. Uh, I think Jared Leto's good. I think he's a little over the top. I, I, I don't know how to take him yet. I have the extended cut that has every little detail in it, so all the stuff that they've taken out too. And one of the best scenes, which if you watch the regular one, you're not going to see this anyways. If you watch the extended, you will, is where him and Harley Quinn are fighting on the, like, the road, and it's... Every like eighth grade boy breaking up with his girlfriend, or high school guy breaking up with his girlfriend, like where you say she's things. crazy and she is crazy, and he's just standing there making fun of her, and it is hilarious. That is one of my favorite scenes. It's not in the movie. Um, they cut it. It's in the extended version if you watch it. Yeah. Um, the movie was a little bit of a mess, but you know that's DC's problem. They d they're trying to play catch up. What All right, so Jake, you talk too much. Technical you, difficulties. You ran over the time limit. You don't shut up, but... You talked a lot. I, I know, but you yeah, talked more. Talk more. So, um, anyways, <laughs> uh, we there was more movies we talked about, and maybe we'll get into that in the next episode. Uh, speaking of which, so like, subscribe, yes. come back. Leave some comments. Tell us what you think about our thoughts, or your even your own thoughts. Maybe yeah. we'll talk about them next time on the next show. Yeah, yeah. Or, Let us know what you want us to talk about, too. That'd be awesome. Yeah, give us some ideas. If you want to see me and Chris get in a fight in the parking lot, maybe we'll have Phil film it, and I'll, I'll beat him up. Yeah, sure. Whatever you say. Right, see you guys next time. See you later. Like, my life is one big blooper reel. Alright. How now, brown cow? How now, brown cow? Aquaman had oddly shaped feet. <laughs>